We advance only if we collaborate with others. That was probably the thought of the Caribbean community when they joined each other in 1973. Similarly in 1999 the cooperation between CARICOM and Spain started with the Scientific and Technical Cooperation Agreement. It is the Spanish oldest regional cooperation program, celebrating its 15th anniversary this year. As one of CARICOM's top 10 donors, Spain is a strong advocate in the European Union support for aid to the Caribbean Basin, contributing to make the European Union the largest donor. In that context, the more than 20.5 million US dollars assigned during a decade from 2002 to 2013 shows Spain's total bilateral official development aid to the Caribbean community. Additional aid has been provided on a multilateral and bilateral basis to CARICOM member states. A highlight here is Spain's 320 million US dollars dispersed to Haiti since the 2010 devastating earthquake. The goals of the regional cooperation program that have been worked out during this time are The strengthening of CARICOM's regional strategic role and international position The supporting of CARICOM's regional integration process The strengthening of CARICOM member states' institutions Every day's work for these goals is focused on four main lines of action Regional integration Security Basic social needs Water and the environment the support for the regional integration process is addressed through institutional strengthening and support for the Common Single Market and Economy CSME. The targets of this institutional strengthening have been The CARICOM Secretariat The CARICOM Representation Office in Haiti The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States the support for the CSME has been for a long time developed through the creation of many projects and interventions such as the Capacity Building for the Competitiveness Commission, headquartered in Suriname. At the same time security has been a line of action that has featured major interventions for our country. It is currently a priority, with two projects ongoing on prevention and reduction of youth violence, and workshops providing training in the creation of economic and business opportunities for young people. It is considered an important benefit that will approach Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, Jamaica, and Trinidad and Tobago. Within the goals of our cooperation program, basic social needs is a line of action that covers the areas of food security and health. Two projects with an important impact at the regional level have been implemented in the area of rural development. The project on food security for the indigenous communities in the savannas of Rupununi, which has boosted the production of rice and peas in Guyana for the rest of the Caribbean community and the establishment of the Regional Center for Advanced Technology in Agriculture in Jamaica. The Caribbean Regional Fisheries Mechanism CRFM, and more than 10 member states have benefited from workshops and consultancies for drafting a CARICOM Regional Common Fisheries Policy. Solid support for health programs has been provided to treat non-communicable diseases NCDs, at the regional level. At the national level, the Spanish Town Hospital in Jamaica has benefited from the establishment of the King of Spain Wing specialized in physiatry, officially opened with a state visit of Their Majesties the King and Queen of Spain to Jamaica in 2009, and the Queen Sophia Women's Center, providing comprehensive care for young and pregnant women and victims of gender violence. Water and the environment has also been a line of action with a major impact in several countries of the region, Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis. The project was born as part of the Expo Zaragoza 2008 International Exhibition. In addition to the main lines of action, other interventions clearly show Spain's commitment to cultural cooperation, supported with an exchange program of scholarships and assistantships, and the recent initiative of triangular cooperation with Chile and the Caribbean Disaster and Emergency Management Agency on Comprehensive Disaster Management. There is no progress if we walk alone. We prefer to do our best to work together, 